Alright, here we go. Y'all ready? Yes. Yeah. Alright. I'm sorry. I want you to bite my lip until I can no longer speak. And then suck my ex-girlfriend's name out of my mouth just to make sure that she never comes up in our conversations. You'll come to me like an afternoon. Slowly. As if you were a broken sunset with a lazy sky on your shoulders. If you let me be your sunlight, I'll penetrate your darkness until you speak in angel wings. Pull me close to you. Tell me that you love me. And then scratch your future into my back so that I can be everything that you live for. I promise. I promise that I will die for you daily and then resurrect in your screams. I promise that I will love you as if it's the only thing that I've ever done correctly. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not a love poet. But if I was to wake up tomorrow morning and decide that I really wanted to write about love, my first poem, it would be about you. About how I love you the same way that I learned how to ride a bike. Scared. <laughs> but reckless with no training wheels or elbow pads so that my scars can tell the story of how I fell for you. Mm. Hey, yo, I'm not a love poet, but if I was, I'd write about how I see your face in every cloud and your reflection in every window. You see, I've written a million poems, hoping that somehow, maybe some way, you'll jump out of the page and be closer to me, because if you were here right now, I would massage your back and tell your skin sing songs that your lips don't even know the words to. Until your heartbeat sounds like my last name and you smile like the Pacific Ocean, I want to drink the sunlight in your skin. You know, if I was a love poet, I'd write about how you have the audacity to be beautiful, even on days when everything around you is ugly. You see, I'd write about your eyelashes and how they're like violin strings that play symphonies every time you blink. If I was a love poet, I'd write about how I melt in front of you like an ice sculpture every time I hear the vibration in your voice. And whenever I see your name on the caller ID, my heart plays hopscotch inside of my chest. Yo, it climbs. It climbs onto my ribs like monkey bars and I feel like a child all over again. And I know this sounds strange. But every now and then, I pray that God somehow turns you back into one of my ribs just so I would never have to spend an entire day without you. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> and I swear, yeah, I, I'm not a love poet. But if I was, in my first poem, it would be about you. And after all of that, she was like, so how do you feel about me? <laughs> down, down, and I down. said, put it like this, I want to be your ex-boyfriend stuntman. I want to do everything that he never had the courage to do, like, like trust you. I swear that when our lips touch, I can taste the next 60 years of my life. Damn. And some days, you know, some days, I want to swallow stacks of your pictures just so you can be a part of me for a little bit longer. If I could, I would sample your smile, and then I would let my heart beat to the baseline, and we would create the greatest love song of all time whenever we stand next to each other. Love, I was the only one made for you, and you can be at last by Etta James. I'll be, ooh, child, when you're in pain, or you can be candy-coated drops of rain, even though it never rains in Southern California, because that's where I'm from. <laughs> and together, you know, we can be beautiful. So when my friends ask if you're my girlfriend, I'll say no. Yo, know, she, she is my musician. And me, uh, I guess you could say, I'm her favorite song. Oh, my God. <laughs>